Welcome back to Garfield of the Week, everybody. It is probably the greatest week of the year. It's Halloween week. It's the night before Halloween. It's, Hall it's Halloween Eve. Today's Garfield comic is good. Today's Garfield comic is great. Today's Garfield comic is probably the best one that I've read on this show yet. Um, it's fresh. The throwaway panel is related to the comic that follows. It's topical. It's temporal, as in it's timed well, because it's Halloween-themed. It makes a joke, which is a little against the grain for the content that the joke is. So, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna dive right into it. <laughs> Buckle up. Throwaway panel's awesome. It's a bunch of pumpkins that spell out Garfield. And the middle one is like Garfield's head. And his ears are popping out of it. And in the first panel, uh, Garfield walks up to like a little uh, a squirrel that's got like a lemonade stand outside. But it's not lemonade. It's pumpkin spice lattes. The squirrel is on the street selling pumpkin spice lattes. Classic, right? That's the time for it. Garfield keeps walking because he's unimpressed by this. And there's a second squirrel, and it's selling pumpkin spice cookies in the same fashion. Where is this going? Garfield keeps walking. Third squirrel. The third squirrel is selling pumpkin spice brownies. Garfield keeps walking. He is not tempted. Crazy. How could he pass up brownies? Fourth squirrel. There's a fourth squirrel. And that squirrel is selling pumpkin spice hot tea. All kinds of pumpkin spice. Garfield continues to walk. And in the last panel, there's a giant pumpkin. And it's got its own lemonade stand. But it's not lemonade. It's selling squirrel squeezings. <laughs> Why is this a good joke? It's a good joke because it doesn't rip on pumpkin spice specifically. It doesn't say, you know, hey, everyone, white women love pumpkin spice. You know, it, it subverts. It makes it cartoonish. It's a cartoonish joke. It's something that could only happen in a cartoon. How is a pumpkin going to squish a bunch of squirrels and squeeze them into, you know, a, a juice? That can only happen in a cartoon. So Jim Davis, he did it again. I don't know how he keeps doing it. Jim Davis just keeps... He must really like Halloween because his Halloween content is like... Mm, it is so good. It's it's like a fine pumpkin spice latte, which I've been known to enjoy. What else should, what else should I say about this comic? I'm not going to say that. Um... Jesus, that was dark. Um, my producer's holding up cue cards. It's, I don't. Even, I hardly ever listen to that guy. This was spotted. Today's Luann has a little Garfield in it. Check that out. Awesome representation. Oh yeah, um, I reached out to Danzig. You know Danzig, the singer. Um, and he uh, provided the uh, end credit song for this, which is a cover of the Garfield theme song that I premiered in the last uh, Garfield of the Week episode. So, you know what? Let's just cut to that. Um, and enjoy. Thanks, Danzig. Happy Halloween. I mean, who else do you want to hear it from other than Danzig, right? So, cool. Have a great Halloween. I hope you get a bunch of candy. Don't eat too much candy. Save room for pizza, lasagnas. Um, <clears throat> and thanks for checking out Garfield of the Week. Make sure you like and subscribe. You can also, um, I guess, email me if you want. You can email me pictures of your costume. I don't want to see you in the costume, but if you just want to send me like pictures of what you're going to wear as a costume, that would be cool. I don't, wanna, I don't really want to see you in a costume. Unless you're Danzig. If you're Danzig and you're, you want to email me a picture of you in a costume, that would be cool. 
um, hey, happy Halloween. It's that day again. Going to spend it with my golf friends. We got John Garfield, Odie, and Nermal. It's Garfield.